Oh, you have the Rocky Mountains off in the distance, overlooking the little FEMA camp. In fact, Richard, get a shot of that. Let me let me get a shot for people. Great job, by the way. Richard's having to light all the equipment. I want to. I wonder if the light level's too high. So you can see the Rocky Mountains off there in the distance. And then right there, you got the police looking right at us. Come on, let's keep going. All right, let's go to the other side of the street first. Now we're near. You're getting the call. Are we still live? That wasn't me. Okay, good. Yeah, it was a little All right, good. I didn't answer though. All right. All right, let me check our live feed on the radio, see if we're going. Okay, guys, you got me? Okay, Burmish, you just keep talking, filling in things I'm not talking. Appreciate you and everybody else. We are about 80 yards, 60 yards from one of the little private prisons. The police are taking an interest. So we're going to walk up and talk to him right now. Live, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Go live. Call me back. All right, get the Denver Sheriff's Department bus. But why would they keep this secret? Why would they just admit what they were doing? Why was this kept secret? Come on, guys. the camp. Yeah, they advertised that. Right? They didn't, it wasn't going to be air conditioned before. They also removed the barbed wire and the sign that said electro shop. Once the public found out about this, they put air conditioning in last week, removed the Constantina wire on top of the fences inside, and removed the signs that said electro shock devices in use, which is meant to terrify and terrorize people when they came into the camp.